Hi, beautiful. Okay, so you know, I'm always busy giving other people makeovers. Today, it's my turn. I am about to transform my hair into a rainbow of sorts. A sort of mosaic rainbow graffiti moment. Like I just imagined something very like organic and crazy and almost like it looks kind of bad. And the reason why I'm doing this is very exciting. Um, I have a Times Square billboard for my brand, Ex Mondo, going up in in like, I don't know, a month or so. We're also gonna have the photographs above a bunch of train stations within New York City, so you may see me there as well. I'm not gonna show you like me at the shoot with everything on, that'll be a surprise, but you're gonna see me do my hair, which is gonna be a, the main focus. It is gonna be really important and my hair looks really good and my color looks really cool, really eye-catching. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm actually really excited because my hair looks like right now. Ya boy is gonna be on a billboard. You're gonna see my face gigantic. I'm a little scared that my pores are gonna really be out there, but um, we can Photoshop that. We can... <laughs> this is gonna be so sick. Super excited to do my hair today and feel fresh and brand new and cute and have a whole different look. I've never had rainbow hair before, so hopefully I don't have a mental breakdown about it, but I think it'll be fine. Let's do it, you guys. Okay, you ready to see this? This head of hair I got going on right now. You know, even, even Brad Mondo has bad hair sometimes. I actually hate my hair right now. Then I have about a half inch of roots as well as just super faded, super red. So we're gonna fix it all up. I'm gonna try and do it while I'm on camera. So good luck to me. I can't really see anything, but it's fine. You guys like my little outfits for today? So I don't stain myself. We have a bowl, we have our lightener and a uh, 30 volume developer, my favorite. This is what I always use myself. Sometimes people are like, oh my God, that's so bad. I don't feel a single thing. Oh, and if you're wondering, if you're a hairstylist out there and you're wondering where I got this, literally Amazon on their like uh, candy containers. It is so nice to put your lightener in a container like this and just sit it on your shelf and you just unscrew the cap. It's so easy, it's so nice. I'm gonna do like two scoops. <sighs> <clears throat> Guys, low key though, I'm kind of like dreading this right now. It's just such a long process, you know? And it's so much different doing it on somebody else rather than yourself. Also, another thing with me, after so many years of using lightener, you can really eyeball it, okay? I've never really seen a big difference measuring out your lightener rather than eyeballing it. I was taught throughout my training and throughout hair school that you always had to measure everything. And honestly, I don't care. You don't have to measure it. I got my gloves, cause you gotta wear those. And we're gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of holoplex. Just in case, just because. We're gonna be using this brush today from Framar. I've actually never used a brush with like a comb on the back. I've seen them for like keratin treatments and whatever, but honestly, it's gonna be really good for me because I usually like to comb the sides and the back through since it's all virgin hair. We are gonna dip in here and begin. I like to begin on the sides of my hair first. I can't see anything. Oh my God, everything's backwards on camera. So the reason why I start on the sides and the back when I have short hair is because this is all virgin hair. With myself, I am a little lazy with my color. Um, I don't like to wash it in sections or do anything too crazy. I like to just do it and be done with it. Like I don't want to take a long time to do my hair. So sometimes like the top half, the roots are not as white and the sides are, but it doesn't matter because all the root is covered with the longer hair. That is just a little thing that I do. You do not have to do the same. Okay, I can't see anything. All right, I have finished the back and the sides and everything in the mirror. I couldn't do it in front of the camera. It was really hard. So I have my hair in a sort of middle part and now we're gonna do the rest of the head as much as I can on camera to just show you guys what I do, you know? I don't know, maybe it's interesting, maybe it's not. Wow, I need a mirror, dude. I'm just gonna prop this up here. Oh yeah, much easier. I feel a little bit of a tingle, you know? Sometimes I feel tingly. I also hated that brush I was using, so I stopped. <laughs> I hope that sectioning was satisfying for you because it definitely was for me. On to the other side. You know, it is not easy to do a dull process on your own hair. I swear, it is one of the most annoying things because you can't see anything. I have gotten a lot better at it. Oh my God, the first time. I really had myself convinced for a while that I could not do this on myself because you miss one piece and it's like, ugh, like you have to be precise with this. So once I'm done with applying this first coat, I will be going back around once everything's a little bit lightened, I can actually see if I missed anything. But I'm gonna go finish this further back portion in the mirror, cause I can't see sh and I look crazy. Why do I feel kind of in this look right now? Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, with me. 
uh, I completely forgot I have red all over the rest of my hair and I'm not doing red anymore. I'm like on autopilot doing my red hair. I'm gonna put a little bleach wash on my ends. I mixed up some 20 volume, some lightener, some a little tiny bit of water and some shampoo. And we are just gonna put it on all the rest of the hair. Now that my hair is already nearly at the end of the lightening process, you wanna wait until your roots are yellow in order to do anything on your ends. That way you can wash everything off at the same time and you're not worrying about your ends over processing. I might have a little bit of red left over or a lot. We'll see what happens. Um, red is not easy to get out of your hair. I just decided something. It's something that I've been really scared of doing. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna color my eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrows are a huge, huge, huge part of my face and I'm really scared that this is gonna look terrible, but I just feel like it's gonna really make the look or maybe it'll break the look. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna color my eyebrows purple. Like whatever, you know, I can always color them back brown. Like I honestly don't know, but I think it'll be good. Uh, so we're gonna do some 30 volume, some lightener. All right, I just put some Vaseline around my eyebrows to protect my skin. That's important if you're gonna do this. Um, I don't recommend doing this, honestly. You could literally make yourself blind. It's not good to do, so don't let me inspire you to do this. <laughs> and I'm just gonna paint it on. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I also have like the thickest, darkest eyebrows. This should be interesting. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I gotta lay on that bleach real thick, baby. Oh my God, my eyebrows are huge. I'm gonna like this way too much. Somebody take the bleach away from me. I'm gonna put some cling wrap over my brows so they stay nice and moist throughout the lightening process. And we're just gonna go like this. And just lightly tap on them. Wait, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes and then I might reapply it again. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> all right, I'll see you when this is all done, okay? Okay, my hair is bleached and my brows are bleached. Please don't make fun of me. My skin is so irritated right now. Honestly, like not absolutely hating it. I know if I had makeup on, I would like, actually be really feeling this whole look. You guys, you guys are probably watching like, what the f are they talking about? <laughs> The bleach has gotten to my head, girl. So I like the brows, I do. Just ignore all the shininess going on. Like if I didn't have the shininess, uh, hello, it's kind of a look and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Uh, but anyways, the super red, it's out enough. I will be able to color my hair over this and I'm doing this look that's very all over the place, very random, so I think it'll be totally fine. It's a little startling looking at myself right now, but it's fine. And my hair, does it feel great? No, it doesn't, but that's totally okay. It's gonna feel even better than what I started with once I'm done coloring with Hexmundo Color, obviously, because it has bomb builders, proteins, oils, like, girl, hyaluronic acid. It makes your hair so healthy, you'll see. Like, look at this. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not terrible, but wait until the end when it looks so sexy and so vibrant. So we're gonna probably be using every single Xmondo color in some capacity today. So let me grab some bowls and let's start mixing up some custom colors. We're gonna mix multiples of these colors to make our own color that we want. Up first, we're gonna do super yellow. Ah, uh, it's so pretty. With just a little splash of orange, just to make it a little bit more on the orangey side rather than like pure yellow. Maybe like an orangey yellow. It's already all over my hands. I should wear gloves. Use gloves with my color, please. You don't have to use brushes, but you gotta use gloves. A little bit of this orange. Ooh, super orange. Literally the tiniest bit. This is gonna irk so many people, me putting this um, dirty whisk in here, but I don't give a f <laughs> Ooh, this is a sexy, sexy yellow. Yes, that is way too much color, but we're gonna go with it. All right, now we're gonna take super blue and super green and we're gonna do a little combo to make like just a dark turquoise. A little bit of that. I mean, just a little bit of green in there. Ooh, sexy. I'm also gonna be using super green just on its own because it is a gorgeous color. I mean, they're all gorgeous, but like, I don't know. I just want super green in my hair all by itself, baby. I gotta have the super red in here, baby. I'm gonna put a little bit of super pink in there just to make it a little bit different. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do five colors. I think I'm just gonna mix pink and purple together until I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's what I needed. Right, I'm gonna start with the lightest color first and that's gonna go on the sides of my hair and some other places. This look is gonna be extremely organic and crazy. So let's just do it. We're literally just gonna put color places. I don't have a clear vision of like what exactly I'm gonna do. I'm obsessed with this color. Oh, it's not picking up as like orange on camera. It's like almost mustardy looking. I love mustard, like the color and mustard. I love mustard. So let's put this maybe like on the back of my head too. 
I want to look crazy. And the reason why I'm starting with the lightest color first, that way when I put the other colors over, it's less likely to um, bleed into the lightest parts. You want to go from lightest to darkest when doing stuff like this. This is fun and really easy. Should I do red on the other side? Blue, could do red. I'm gonna do blue. I've lost my mind. What am I doing? All right, let's start putting it on my roots a little bit. I'm gonna do it again, super random. I just want some of my roots yellow, some of them not. Yo, this is definitely the most wild thing I've ever done with my hair. And I'm just so happy I get to experiment with all of my own colors. Like, it's so fun. Nobody can tell me I haven't had every single one of my colors on my head. Like, nope, I did it. Maybe I'll put a little bit of yellow on this side. Yeah, that's Maybe like a few pieces that are like actually yellow. This is gonna start to get difficult as I progress. <laughs> And the great part about my color is that it is so damn hydrating. The color really stays in place because it is on the thicker side. Okay, this is getting a little bit difficult, I will be honest with you. Um, okay, green. This is by far the most artistic, crazy thing I've done to my hair, as well as pretty much anybody's hair, I think. I've never had somebody tell me like, oh, literally just place colors wherever. Yeah, it's a lot. It's crazy. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Brad. Yeah, I'm gonna be your boss. I got my concentration face going on right now. It's not a cute face. I keep thinking like, do I need pink? I'm doing it. I'm adding pink. <sighs> this is a lot of work, you guys. I just have finished my eyebrows now and I'm gonna do my eyebrows purple. So I dyed my eyebrows purple, as you can see. I think it's a cute color for me, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything anymore. I'm freaking out. I'm so tired. This is taking so long. I'm gonna wait 20 minutes, rinse this out, style my hair, cross my fingers, and hope for the best. Hope that I like it. And I'll show you guys the finished result. I'll see you then. I'll do it, yeah, bye. I'm so, I'm so annoyed. Because why do I look so f good? F come after me. I know you guys tell me a lot, like I can pull off any look, but like this one, like, ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so full of myself right now, but like, do you blame me? Like, f I'm probably gonna keep this for a while. I'm so happy and I can't wait for you guys to see the billboard in Times Square and all around Manhattan. This is so exciting. Okay, <laughs> if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do. You can click the bell icon and the like button, please. That'd be great for me. Uh, you can also text me this number right here if you would like to. It is really connected to my phone. Yes, I do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to shop any of the colors in my hair today, Day. You can do so with the link right below or head to xmonocolor.com. You can also check out my hair care line on that same website. Also, if you like other hair and hair color inspiration, you can get head to our Instagram, xmonocolor for color and xmono hair for hair care. You can follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Laura. She says, I really want to do something special with my hair, maybe cut it or dye it, something like that. And she's sick of her hair. I'm scared to do a very short style or fully dyed hair, but I'm open to anything else. Also, I really want to make my face shape better complimented too. So Laura, ugh, you have beautiful hair. I really love the length of your hair. If anything, maybe take like two inches off, add some more layering, do a more shaggy haircut. If you're trying to do something to your hair, I would say go darker. Like I would love to see you with a very dark brown. I think that would look really great. Um, and if you're not trying to do as much, just highlight it. Give yourself some face framing highlights and a little around the entire head. Just give it that sun-kissed beachy look. I hope that helps you. That's all for today, guys. That was exhausting. <laughs> Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>